it's not so pleasant if you experience an, an attack, an anxiety attack. It's very unpleasant. It does a lot of things to you physically that will make you sure that you are dying or worse. Do the breathing. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Exhale. It's something I've suffered from for since I was six years old or four years old. Uh, the good thing is that you can get a little, you, you can get some knowledge on how it is expressed or, or what symptoms you, you, you have, but it's still a terrible situation that I still hate when it comes. Maybe I have not used the, the ang my anxiety so much, but 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 I have have used uh, some a, a lot of uh, image material that has you know uh, that that I have left over the years, and and this is material that goes way back to when I was much younger. Good. What is everything like around you? I, I do a lot of shamanic journeys and I, a, a lot of the images in this film have kind of been brought back from journeys like that, which is a mental uh, journey. I walk into it. Working with a person who's actually using his dreams as input for the visual side of, of the work you're doing is really fascinating. And it's just, uh, um, I feel very lucky to be able to work with, uh, with this uh, project and with Lars in general, because he's so uh, direct about what goes from his mind and into the paper and onto the final movie. No, no. This time, since I had this personal crisis of depression three years ago, it was it was uh, therapy in the sense that I was pretty sure that I should never make another film or couldn't. So it's therapy, just the fact that there is a film. Do you love me? Yes, I do. Help me. The form of therapy that uh, takes place in the film is a therapy that I've followed for some years and worked with. Uh, and of course, since it's me, it's quite sarc sarcastic, the, the way it's, it's been uh, described. Easy. Never screw your therapist. No matter how much your therapist may like it. It's quite provocative because obviously Lars, I, mean, I could quite clearly feel something like Lars is very affected by anxiety, as we all know, and he does nothing to hide that. And I am pretty uh, much in the other direction, so it must be fucking provocative for him sometimes to have a person who is understanding or trying to understand his script and trying to understand that domain and that world of thoughts that he takes you to in his film. But I do ideally want to have a, a good laugh every day even making something really seriously, even making something really serious and petrifying and full of anxiety, I think it's important to try and maintain some kind of uh, distance or humour as well if you can, because otherwise I can't survive in it, because the world just gets too dark. The main part of anxiety is physical. Dizzy spells, dry mouth, distorted hearing, trembling, heavy breathing, fast pulse, nausea. 